welcome back to Fox 43 AM Live. Join us now is Troy Abel with the Museum of the Kansas National Guard talking with us about Heartland Military Day tomorrow. Yeah, we're, uh, we're excited at the museum uh, to be hosting this event to help bring uh, some awareness to the museum. Mm -hmm. Also to uh, give some folks a chance to show what they do, some of our reenactors and stuff. Um, and tell a little bit of history, uh, kind of make it come to life in person. It's wonderful. So, um, is uh, got Heartland Military Day in honor of anything? It's just something that we've done uh, for several years uh, at the museum. Just an annual event, um, not really in honor of anything specific, one thing specific, but of uh, all the service members that, okay, have, wonderful, yeah. that have stepped up. So. And yeah, what, what will they day. be reenacting? So, you're going to have uh, two different uh, actual re well one's actually a reenactment would be World War II um, you'll actually have a German side and you will have an allied side and they will all be dressed up in uniform they have actual German and American equipment uh, wow. guns so there'll be gunfire explosions the whole nine yards uh, they have the first one of those will happen at let me check my notes 10:30 in the morning and then the second will occur at two o'clock in the afternoon but then there's also a Civil War cannon battery that they will actually have Civil War era cannons that still function and they will show you how those were fired in the field. So oh, uh, and that happens amazing. that yeah. happens at uh, 10 and 1. Okay, so, so. Th will they actually be firing the cannons then? Yes. Wow. Yeah, yeah no cannon balls, but they'll have the charge in there. So. Ah, okay. Good, good <laughs> enough, good enough. I was wondering, yeah. like, are we really firing yeah, cannon balls? Yeah, too much balls liability here? involved with that, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now, okay, you have so many other event, events going on today as well, or that day as well. Um, uh, the pancake fee kind of kicks off your morning. What yeah. time does that start? So we'll start serving pancakes at 7, and that'll stop at 10 tomorrow. Then we also have a lunch at um, 11 and both are uh, for free will donations because mm -hmm. the, the Museum of the National Kansas National Guard is uh, completely donation based and completely volunteer run there's no paid employees um, so this is basically one of our fundraisers that we do throughout the year um, and this, this is a great way for us to draw folks in and let them see what we have in the museum, mm -hmm. on the grounds, and actually see much, much more because we'll have the folks, the reenactors there. We'll also have uh, several uh, displays set up of extra artifacts. One, uh, Herschel Stroud would be bringing out his Civil War field uh, doctors set up, oh. which is kind of uh, disturbing when you see uh, it, <laughs> but, it's, sure. but, but it tells the story of what it was like for him back then, and that's kind of the guys behind this is to, to tell the story of the things that have gone on over mm -hmm. history and, and uh, how our guardsmen have participated in these things. And what a rare experience to be immersed in this history, not just read it from a plaque or see it, you know, still in a museum. This is living history. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It's it's very uh, very moving experience, and uh, the kids love it because there's so much to see, do, and a lot of the reenactors will let the kids put on uniforms and <laughs> and interact with some of the oh, equipment so that fun. they have. So it's very hands on. And then also in between all of that going on, at nine o'clock we have the Topeka Big Band, mm -hmm. and eleven o'clock playing the Santa Fe Band. So playing kind of some of the big band era stuff that uh, that you would have heard like during World War II. So, oh, wow. Yeah, so there's there's quite a bit going on. There's really something, and that's, uh, that'll, the, the lunch is at 11, and we'll run till about, that last performance is at 2 o'clock, so about 2.30, 3 o'clock, but from about 7 o'clock when the pancakes start flying all the way up to the end, there's going to be something going on the entire day that'll keep everybody engaged. One hundred percent. Yeah, like you almost want to go the whole day, especially to see both reenactments because it's two different battles, yeah. and they kind of go together, from what I understand. Absolutely. So it's, yeah. It's a great continuation there, and I don't. It, I always forget. It's just how much I love history until I'm up close and like I'm seeing like these models, I'm seeing this equipment, and I go. How cool is this? Yes. Yeah, it's really neat to see it come to life before your eyes. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, how excited are you for this show? I'm very excited. <laughs> um, we had a car show a couple weeks ago, which was a very big success. And so we're excited to have people come back out and kind of see something that's more military focused. Mm -hmm. And uh, really just, we, we really encourage folks to come out because most people that come out there for the first time are like, I had no idea this was here. Mm -hmm. And we have quite an impressive display daily which we're open, uh, it's n and there's never any charge for the museum. We're open Monday through Saturday, 10 to 4, and uh, we'd love to have folks out. And this is a great way for them to kind of see what we have, in addition to all the additional stuff. And you're right, the history, seeing it come alive, seeing what our friends and neighbors and family members from the National Guard have done over the years to 
to uh, sacrifice and help secure our freedoms is it's uh, it's pretty moving. That's fantastic. Yes. And uh, around our viewers now, uh, times for the for everything tomorrow, and just a location as well, address, how to get there. Okay, properly. so basically we are on, down the south end of Forbes Field, mm -hmm. 125 Southeast Airport Drive. Uh, you drive south on Topeka Boulevard until you see the big KC-135 tanker, which is from my home unit, uh, the oh, 190th wow. here in town. I <laughs> uh, actually got to work on and fly on that particular aircraft a wow. few times. And, uh, but, uh, so straight south down there, we're going to start the pancake feed at 7, the lunch is at 11. As I said, there's things going on throughout the day. Um, and it's, it's really going to be a lot of fun for the entire family, and we encourage everybody to come out and take a look at it. Wonderful. I'm so excited for tomorrow. Thank you very much for having me. Of course. Well, Troy, yes, again, thank you for joining us this morning. It sounds like it's going to be a great time. We're looking forward Please to it. Please, everyone, go learn more. You can visit. Uh, actually, what's the best way to learn about more about you guys? Oh, from the uh, we have a website, uh, yes. Museum of the Kansas National Guard. If you Google that, it'll take you right to it. Perfect. And, uh, yeah, we'd love to have you out. Fantastic. Absolutely. All right. Can't wait to learn more. <laughs> All right, thank you so much.